Mm-hmm. I'm gonna taste. <laughs> Not yet. Remind me next time not to leave my leg up that long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Alright, now it's the heifer. You can't even see nothing. There you go. Heifer. Thank you for not clotting. <laughs> Is it okay if I pull that yes, up just absolutely. a little bit? Okay. Whatever you need to do. One, two, two three. three. Yay! I ain't got no needle in my chest. In my chest. Oh, she got her band-aid. I ain't got no needle in my chest. Yeah! Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, good afternoon, evening, good night. <laughs> I do have some pictures in a little video that I shared when I was not the immunotherapy started today. Yay. Um, so I vlogged yesterday morning. I started the chemotherapy back yesterday. And yesterday I had um, gastrointestinal issues. Um, it takes, and this is not to spoiler alert or, or, a, or a trigger warning, trigger warning or warning warning uh graphic warning it takes a lot for me to actually vomit um it really takes like poison <laughs> like alcohol poisoning or like really it's it's got to be bad food poisoning that kind of thing so i do have my bucket here in case i got these from the hospital because they give them to you to wash with, and then you're going to throw them out. So I just said, let's bring them home. They might be perfect for, like, I have one for cleaning up. If I, you know, if I'm not feeling good, I have one to vomit in if I don't feel good. And then I have one to organize my stuff. It's a beautiful thing. Just don't mix them up. <laughs> so last night, um, so yesterday I had, like, a lower gastrointestinal issues. And then last night I was laying in bed, and I rolled over. And then all of a sudden I started to get like that pre-salivation, that pre-vomit salivation that happens. My shirt is all bunched up. I'm so sorry about that. And this is just a, a camisole I was wearing under my dress today. Um, sorry about that. Um, so I did a lot of spitting, about almost three solid minutes of just spitting that pre, um, that pre-salivation that happens um, into the bucket. Um, and then that was the, the extent of it. Um, now, remember, when I started chemotherapy last time, I didn't have any... Uh, only thing that actually um, was a side effect was that I had no appetite and that I was exhausted. Um, like muscle weakness, exhausted. Um, and... I drank from the wrong side of the cup. <laughs> Those very done cups kind of have like a little like sort of spout here. It's like not, in, I don't know if it's intentional. Because I drank from the, drank from the wrong side of the cup. It almost like I had my whole face in the cup. Anyway, um, this is just my first cup of coffee. It is like six o'clock at night or something and I went to get immunotherapy today. Um, first time I saw my oncologist since before the surgery. Told him about my lumbar spine. He read the reports. He didn't have any idea. I was kind of disappointed that the team wasn't including him on everything. Um, I realized I don't know when I see the spine surgeon again. Um... I have to call and find out if I'm following up with him as well. Not the spine surgeon, but the spine team. Um, if I need to get x-rays on that lumbar after six or eight months or whatever it's supposed to happen. I'm not really sure what's supposed to happen. But Dr. Um, a wants me to let 
the interventional radiologists uh, know about the spot in my spine. Even though it's not causing pain, um, he might want to treat it with radiation. So it's a lot of, you know, <laughs> balls in the air. Um, so this morning I woke up, I just want to let you know that I'm scratching my leg through my pants because I, it's healing and I'm trying to like just scratch the leg around it as the nerves start to come back. It's super itchy, but I'm going through the fabric so it's not to like irritate the skin, but it's also relieving it. So I don't want to be like, Jerry's just sitting here scratching her leg the whole time. Um, but the, the, you know, the, the surgery scars are starting to heal and you know, as that happens, it just gets itchy. So anyhow, um, so I didn't feel good yesterday. Yesterday I woke up and I had my apple and peanut butter and for lunch, was yesterday. Yesterday was fun for yourself. I, oh, I had my apple and peanut butter at lunchtime. So yesterday I slept. I woke up. I had trouble sleeping. I was up at 4.40. I took my chemotherapy. I think I told you guys this. Took my chemotherapy early. Fell back to sleep. Woke up. Uh, had my apple and peanut butter at a, like 11.30. So by the time Jim came home and we had dinner, um, I really just pretty much only just had dinner. Um Here it comes. Okay, I lied. Oh, hold on a second. He lied. So, um, what did we have for dinner last night? I feel like last night was fend for yourself. Leftovers. Oh, I had, I had chicken, Alfredo, carbonara, that homemade carbonara with on cauliflower instead of on pasta. And then last night I got totally nauseated and I was thinking like, it wasn't old, it wasn't left out, it was, you know, it probably was just something else. So, oh, he's back. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. Okay, so. Because I was so nauseated and I was kind of afraid to fall asleep and be nauseated. I had trouble falling back to sleep. I had not fallen asleep yet. I feel like I dozed off for like 20 minutes and I woke up and rolled over and then got nauseated. So I had trouble falling back to sleep. So that being said, I was up till five o'clock this morning. Now we were getting up early because we wanted to go check out the new Dunkin' Donuts before I wanted to bring donuts to the, um, to the oncologist and to the, um, infusion ladies. They both work the hematology oncology, but they're in two separate offices. So I thought a dozen donuts for the top and a dozen donuts for the bottom would be great. However, the new Dunkin' Donuts that's open is not open yet. <laughs> Jimmy went there and he's like, the shelves are empty. The machines are there. There's just nothing happening yet. And I was like, oh, okay. This is a reminder. Take my that means it's 7 p.m. Okay. Give me a second if you would. My mouth hurts. Um, that's the other side effect is that, you know, you get uh, mouth sores. I do have the Miracle Mouthwash, which I used um, after lunch, but it doesn't last very long. Uh, for lunch, Jimmy made hot dogs and, well, turkey dogs and sweet potato fries and the ketchup like the, the vinegar and the ketchup kind of like really burned. So um, I used it after that. But anyway, so I had trouble sleeping and I'm really tired. And we went to immunotherapy and I started to eat a couple of crackers. I don't want to have the gluten, but 
that's like the choices. They don't have any really gluten-free options there for a snack. And I had my first cup of coffee there because Dunkin' Donuts was closed. We're not open yet. And Jimmy made scrambled eggs this morning. And I said, just make them plain. Just scramble me two eggs, nothing in it. I was like, because. Excuse me. Because I said, I don't know how my stomach is going to be. And I went to therapy and I was really tired today. And I usually sit up and I chat with everybody. And today I just laid back and closed my eyes. And my I was gifted these beautiful masks from one of you who wants to rename an anonymous. And they're so large that I can pull it like over my chin, over my eyes. <laughs> so a lot of times I use it like a sleep mask. <laughs> when I had gotten the, um, I think it was the biopsy. No, it wasn't the biopsy. Yeah, it was the biopsy. Was it the biopsy? What was I doing at that place? It was the biopsy. I think when I went for the biopsy. Isn't that funny? I can't remember what I was there for. Yeah, it was the biopsy because the port was with just Julie. This was with Jim and Julie. Um, when I went for the biopsy, I they put me in a room and they like left all the lights on and I like pulled the mask up and I was like, close my eyes. <laughs> my eyes are still oozing crusty things from the from the um eye shots but don't worry I washed my hands I have to I have to get the crusty things out anyhow um so today was immunotherapy we went to Dunkin Donuts first it was closed and after Dunk after that we went to JC Penney's to pick up a curbside pickup I got really great new shoes that I got on clearance at JC Penney's Black Friday or whatever um they're by Clark's and they actually are like slide-ons. I wish I had a picture of them on my feet right now. But they're super cute. And I looked super cute going to therapy. I like to dress up for immunotherapy. I feel like it just makes me, I don't know, makes me feel like, it helps me fight, I guess. Um, I went there and I played on my iPad. And then I just really closed my eyes and listened to one of my movies that I've seen a thousand times. How to Train Your Dragon. Um, it's kind of funny, but he's... This is Burke, 12 degrees north of hopelessness. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's really funny. Anyway, um, I got some good news today that a friend might be visiting, well not might be, a friend is going to be visiting here in about a month or so. I hope that it works out for everybody that it happens because of just talking about it, just want to like cry. So I'm not going to, um, so we came home and I sat at the table and I butchered a uh, pork roast. I made pork chops and Jimmy actually made pork chops for dinner, but I just feel like I can't chew them right now. Like just chewing meat. It's just unappealing to me right now. Like, I literally want to have smooth peanut butter on ice cream, like, or with pudding or with jello. And I know I need to eat, so as long as there's protein in it. Um, I went to go have soup actually when we came home, and he said, I think we threw all the soup out because it was expired. Cans don't work that way. Just so you guys know, uh, if you talk to any of the food manufacturers, cans don't expire. Please don't throw out your canned goods. If they bubble, if they explode, if they pop, like they're, they've got bacteria in them, that's a different story. But the expiration dates on cans just are a suggestion, honestly. When it's canned, it's canned. Like, And I don't mean canning like in jars because that can be affected by light and process. But like manufactured can cans, please don't throw your canned goods out. So um, I really just wanted like Progresso's Italian wedding meatball soup thingy. Um, I think that's what it's called. But I don't think it has any car. I don't think it has any gluten in it. I can't remember now, but it just, I felt like that's what I wanted today. Um, it's not, it's got seasoning, but not spicy, you know, like doesn't, I feel like it would be good for my mouth. What I really want is oodles and noodles, but oh, the gluten. So we had, like I said, I had turkey dogs and sweet potato fries because today we had carbs. 
Because yesterday was carb day, but I didn't have any carbs yesterday. <laughs> um, so we switched it out for today because I knew that I would need to have carbs today. I talked to my doctor about all the changes, about everything that's going on. He was, you know, talking to me about checking out this, that, and the other thing. I feel like this conversation is all over the place, so I apologize. We came home. And after I cut up the meat, I said I came to the bathroom and we were going to take a nap. And Jimmy's like, I just need a nap. Just like 20 minutes. It was like about an hour. And I ended up falling asleep on accident. And I mean by accident because I was on my surgery side. Now... I will tell you, I'm trying really hard not to take the pain medicine. I was taking it prophylactically before bed and before going to therapies and stuff. However, I feel like I feel okay. Uh, as long as I keep off my foot and I keep, you know, today was a good day. As long as I keep my diet regular and keep my exercises going. Um, that being said, sleeping on my leg wrong was like, I woke up and I was like, oh, I'm really uncomfortable. And my mouth is uncomfortable. I just feel uncomfortable. So, um, it's kind of like off of yesterday's vlog where I talked about being comfortable or the day before yesterday. Maybe the day before yesterday where I talked about being in bed, being comfortable because that brace is so uncomfortable. The brace was good today. I, oh, just a side note. I wore the brace for the, um, I think you'll see the video. I, I did my Mary song of like, I ain't got no needle in my chest. Um, you'll see... When I went there, the nurse was like, can I access your port? And I'm like, yeah, you can. And I pulled it down so she could access it. And uh, same thing when uh, she was deaccessing. What happens is when I sit down, it tends to ride up, um, as you saw in previous video, many previous videos. So I came in, you know, I had my brace on like all day. We put it on at nine o'clock this morning. And I took it off at like four o'clock this afternoon. So uh, once I got it off, I was like, sweetie, I... Um, I don't, I don't, I'm not hungry. I did eat today, so I'm not like worried that I didn't eat. I had plenty of protein. I had vegetables. Um, I, I asked him if I can have some ice cream because my mouth hurts. And I do have some low carb ice cream. He put sugar free, uh, ready whip on it. It's not really ready whip, it's the store brand, but the sugar free ready whip. My mouth is killing me. I don't have any more creamy peanut butter left, so I have it in my shopping cart. For Walmart to pick some up because I really want some peanut butter and I'm out of the smooth peanut butter. What am I forgetting to tell you? I'm no nausea, no no stomach issues today. Today is day two of chemotherapy. Um, no stomach issues today. Oh, I remember what I forgot to tell you. So after what happens is when they access your port and they draw blood and then they test your blood and they make sure that your blood work is good to actually get the immunotherapy. So today was supposed to be immunotherapy and my ex -Jiva shot. The ex -Jiva shot is the one that helps keep my bones strong. The cancer is in my bones all over, so I try and keep those bones strong. However, my calcium was super low. The ex -Jiva actually keeps the calcium out of your blood and draws it to your bones. Because it was already low in my blood, she wanted to make sure that I didn't get the ex -Jiva shot today. She wants me to be on 1200 milligrams of calcium for the next two weeks to see how that goes a day excuse me and i got a calcium glucate glucan a calcium gluconate that's what she said Cal calcium gluconate calcium gluconate no calcium gluconate yeah i got an infusion in my iv today of calcium so i talked to the doctor about my dry lips and I said I was just worried about my kidneys and he's like your kidneys are perfect and I was like okay I mean other than the giant tumor in the left one their output is perfect <laughs> and he said do you get dry lips during the winter and I was like not normally and not normally like this this has been like days of drinking water and applying lip balm and everything and I just can't get them better um so you know he typed it in his little computer to keep keep my eyes on it you know so, um, I am most likely in bed the rest of the night. Jim's going to come in. He said he wants to watch a movie or some TV. I was kind of like in the middle of How to Train Your Dragon. We love that movie so much. He wouldn't care if we just watched half of it. <laughs> he probably want me to start it over again. That's actually probably what it is. Um, but I've been really trying to get into the Christmas spirit. I've been putting on Christmas movies every chance I get. 
Um, it's just hard when you can't do the things that you want to do. Um, I can't just get in the car and drive around and see people's lights. I'm very dependent on, on people, which is okay. Uh, it's just hard for me. It's, uh, it's difficult for me to transition that way. So I'm doing the very best I can. And I appreciate everybody's encouragement and support. You guys are fantastic. Um, I want to tell you, this is kind of like where this, um, vlog is going to end. I got an email from one of you. I won't call it out. Somebody reached out to me and said that my encouragement inspired them to go to the doctor for the first time in a very, very long time and get their first mammogram and go to the girl doctor. And they did find some issues and they're working on them. Uh, Lord willing, they're nothing terrible, but they're getting looked at. So, um, prayers for the viewer, subscriber, family member, however you would like to be uh, labeled yourself. I like to label you guys as family members, but I don't want to offend anybody by assuming that we're family. Um, but, um, prayers to, uh, good biopsy results for, um, that beautiful subscriber who actually was inspired by me to go to the doctor and, um, it's why I do all of this. If I told you before, if I could help one person with one thing, then it's all worth it. And I know I've helped many people with many things, but that makes it all worth it. I have someone who saved my life, and if I could save someone else's life in the interim, then, however, you know, I, air quotes, saved my life, but you know what I mean. If I have somebody who was there for me, and I could be there for someone else, just pay it forward, um, I'm, I'm glad to do it. I'm glad to do it, and I love you, and thank you for reaching out to me. You just, I'm, I'm holding them back right now because people get so upset when I cry all the time, but <sighs> thank you. And I love you. And you got this. It's going to be all good. And even if it's not, you still got this. Okay? All right. Listen, if nobody told you today that you are loved, remember that I love you. And I think you guys love each other too. I, I've gotten a chance to read some of the comments and you guys are amazing to each other. Thank you. Thank you. It makes me feel like this family is caring about each other. Not just about yourself and, and me. <laughs> Um, and as always, you guys take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.